You know what? We all suck with money. I mean, think about it. Did you have a course in high school about how to invest, or to save, or to retire early? Nope, me neither. And as a result, we have generation after generation who takes a long time to get a handle on how to do something as simple as creating a budget or managing their expenses. It isn't rocket science. There are simple frameworks you can use to set up your personal finances to work for you instead of you working to survive. One of my favorites is the Profit First Approach, popularized by Mike Michalowicz. Using this system, you can simplify your finances and get started on building a secure financial future. And in this video, I'm going to lay it all out for you. Are you ready? Let's get to it! Let's start with defining Profit First. The Profit First is to give entrepreneurs a simple cash flow plan that makes their business finances clear and gives them more control over them. It is a system that helps you build your business in a way that will last and make you successful in the long run. Well, here's an illustration of it. Suppose you have five plates for dinner, one plate for income, another for taxes, another for owner's pay, another for operating costs, and the fifth plate for profit. You put money aside for your profit, taxes, and owner's pay. What's left is what the company has to spend on its operating costs. Simple as that. So how can you use Profit First to save money at home? Remember that every family's way of saving money is neither right nor wrong. And getting out of debt is not as easy as we think. It's a step-by-step -step process, and one of the things that can help you reach your money goals is learning about Profit First. Your first step is to make sure you have more than one bank account. Let's say the first account is for money that comes in. This bank account should hold your monthly earnings or even money from a side job. I'm going to use the same ideas to help you with your own money. So, with Profit First adjusting to your personal finances, I think this is a very flexible way to reach your financial goals. You should also do this if you own more than one business, have more than one source of income, or work as a contractor. This is a great way to handle your money at home. The next account is called a fun account. Well, this one is my personal favorite. So this is the profit account that you can reward yourself. I like to call it the fun account, and it's where I set aside money for fun things that I want to do. It can be for your wants like clothes, makeup, or even beach getaways. Anything that can make you happy and is not part of your basic needs. Even though the next door is not for everyone, you're lucky if you don't have debt. You can keep your debt in a separate account. And here's a simple piece of advice. If you did a big job or got a bonus, it's best to put that extra money in the debt account so you can pay off your debt faster. If you don't have any debt, you can use this account to save for things like a house or wedding. Again, not everyone will need this next account, which is a tax account. If you only get a W-2 and your taxes are taken out automatically, you probably don't need this account. Instead, put that money in a savings account that pays interest so you can make a little money off of it. You'll feel a lot better at the end of tax season or when you get your tax bill and the money is already in your account. If you don't need a tax account, this could be an investment account. Maybe you really focus on investments and put, say, 5% of your income into that account every week and that's your investment fund. Again, this can be tailored to your own financial goals. The following account, I call it the monthly account, but you can call it whatever you want. These are our monthly bills, like rent, phone bills, insurance, and car payments. Before I set up the system, I would look at our one bank account and think, okay, it says we have this much money, but our big grand check is still out, so we really have this much money. And it was just too much brain power. Almost everything is set up to be taken out automatically. And I know that if I put that much money in every week, I won't have any problems. And we are down to the last account, which is what I call a daily account. So these are expenses for each day. After you pay for things like groceries, eating out, and gas, whatever is left goes into a daily account. This is great, or maybe not so great, because if you have a good income week, you can use the money in your account to go out to eat more. If you have a bad income week, you might eat at home more or not go out as much. Look, we're not going to overhaul the education system overnight. Kids today are still not graduating with common sense on financial education, but that doesn't mean we can't keep learning and improving. The Profit First framework is a great way to start on the road to financial responsibility. 
And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Definitely check out the book, Profit First, when you have a chance. You know, budgeting and paying yourself first is a great way to make sure you're able to save for the future. But it doesn't mean you might not spend what you have on things you shouldn't. If you really want to avoid some expenses that might be keeping you poor, then check out this video where I get into the top 7 you should know. See you there!